Ukrainian American demonstrators lined outside of awakened church in protest against controversial Fox News guest speaker Tucker Carlson. Your heartless message to American people who are the cradle of democracy. So this vicious war are actually children. Just last week we had over 300 uh, children that perished in this war, lost their lives. But this week is much, much more. We cannot even quantify. He needs to show to the public and to the world and to himself that he is for life, for humans, for people. And he has empathy and decency as a human being to take a right side. So people are now actively protesting Tucker Carlson in person, at a church. I'm Yasmin Khan with Rebel HQ and over the weekend Tucker Carlson had a speaking gig at a church of all places in San Diego County. But a lot of people weren't too happy about his presence there, so protesters showed up putting baby strollers and baby shoes among other things in front of the church to protest a lot of Tucker's pro-Russia anti-Ukrainian talking points. Avatars from mask up to the now mandatory Ukrainian flag. There was no debate about doing this, no reflection. There was not even a real conversation. They just did it. Millions of people simply assumed reflexively a partisan position in a highly complicated foreign crisis, the next crisis. And as they did it, they moved in perfect lockstep. They were guided by their masters at the social media companies who were themselves taking direction from the White House. Those talking points have become even more egregious and unforgivable in light of the atrocities that the Russians are committing against the Ukrainians, and they keep stacking up. Many of those atrocities have turned innocent Ukrainian children into victims of a madman's expansionist ambitions. Now we have reports of Ukrainians who were found with their hands tied behind their back. By the way, these are unarmed civilians who were left dead in the streets. Then we found hundreds more bodies in mass graves just outside of Kyiv in Bucha. I don't need to tell you how horrendous that is because we are all somewhat empathetic people who have some semblance of compassion. But can the same be said for Tucker Carlson and for the people who regularly watch his show? The images we see coming out of Ukraine are really hard to dispute without delving into conspiratorial, I'm just asking territory, which we all know Tucker has no problem delving into. He's always just asking the questions and he's the one being attacked for it. He's a victim of his own intellect and fearlessness, right? But we've all seen the image of Zelensky his face when he saw the mass grave. We've all seen how much he's aged over the past several weeks. Still, Tucker supports the aggressor, Putin, presumably so that his ratings will go up and so that he'll make headlines so that people like me will talk about him. And as much as I hate talking about him, and trust me, I really hate talking about him, the sad fact is that he has succeeded in making himself relevant in a wartime narrative. His audience, I assume, believes the things that he says or else why would they keep watching? Are they all hate watching? It was just reported that President Biden called Rupert Murdoch, quote, the most dangerous man in the world. And I can see how he got there. A rogue player is only as effective as their platform or their supporters. Trump is nothing if we stop paying attention to him. He can't grift people if no one's buying the grift. He can't incite an insurrection if there's no one at his rally for him to incite. Fox News has been unequivocal in the impact its programming, I won't call it news coverage, has been in warping the minds of the American people, and they've done so deliberately. I even, I once had a man who I would otherwise consider pretty well-read and even intelligent quote Tucker Carlson to me, and it left me pretty confused because of course it didn't make any sense, but what confused me even more was that later he came back and said that what Tucker had said didn't really make a whole lot of sense to him. That didn't stop him from quoting him to me in the first place though, and it wasn't enough for him to stop watching Tucker's show. I don't even need to tell you what party this man votes for. But you guys have seen Succession, right? The show on HBO. If you haven't, The Family is basically a fictional version of the Murdochs. They own a media company and they use it for their own political, but more importantly, financial benefit. And there's no accountability because The Family has so much power that even the White House can't really do anything about it. Freedom of speech, freedom of press, right? Tucker isn't lying, he's just asking questions. He's a contrarian, an independent thinker, and his audience members think that they also are that. But before I wrap this up, I'll leave you with some encouraging news. A recent Pew survey found that only 6% of US adults had confidence in Putin as a leader, and that's an all-time low. Maybe, just maybe, that'll be enough for Tucker to find a new angle. His audience is dwindling. Thanks.